started with a single bite of a sugary donut at the school fair. Sweet, soft, perfect. But the next day, Amsam found himself eating not one, not two, but seven chocolate bars before breakfast. His hands moved on their own. His legs walked to food stalls even when he wanted to go elsewhere. He tried to resist, but his body didn't listen. Carrots tasted like cardboard. Broccoli smelled like burnt rubber. Even his favorite home-cooked dishes seemed invisible. All he wanted, no, all he could eat, was junk. And he wasn't alone. Friends at school began acting the same. Eyes glassy, mouths full, classrooms filled with the crackle of wrappers instead of pencils. Teachers were too tired to stop it. Even the healthiest kids gave in. The entire town was slowly losing control. Aum Sum's energy dipped. His mind felt foggy. He couldn't concentrate, couldn't dream like he huh? used to. But one night, he caught a glimpse of himself in the mirror. Tired eyes, crumbs on his cheeks, a version of himself he barely recognized. He needed answers. And finally, after going through all the books in the library, he found it. A dusty page about a rare condition called taste lock where certain artificial ingredients override the brain's signals for hunger and satisfaction. It wasn't magic. It was real, and it could be reversed, but not easily. Aum Sum designed a strict plan. No junk for three days. Even one bite would restart the cycle. Mm -hmm. He shut himself inside his room. The first day, he trembled. The second, he cried. The third, he almost gave up. But slowly, something changed. His cravings faded, his thoughts returned, his strength came back. When he stepped outside again, he didn't just feel better, he felt clear, <laughs> alive. He shared his journey at school. Aum Sum had become a hero. Hmm.